Well, very soon, hopefully, I got my fingers crossed on this, very soon, I hope to have a revision with Chiller Night Theater, uh, update it, a new set, new lighting, new sound, and a new format. So uh, I'm hoping that that comes to be. It's in the talks right now. So um, you're not seeing as many new episodes right now um, because certain things are uh, kind of in the works. And, and if they happen, then, then it'll be outstanding. It'll be great. You'll be seeing new shows a lot more frequently. And, um, you know, just <laughs> keep your eye out for more news coming from me and the Chiller Night Theater uh, Facebook page. So, um, you know, keep your eyes open for some, some new shows coming up. I will not be posting the shows on YouTube. I have no plan on doing that. Um, YouTube has been... Um, <laughs> I have a lot of subscribers on YouTube. And things were going great until about, about probably about 10 months ago. 10 months ago or so. All of a sudden, everything that I put on there, I put public domain movies on there. And I don't know if you know, a lot of you viewers might not know exactly how this works. I can't just play whatever I want to. If I did, I'd be playing the Hammer horror movies, which are my favorite, next to the Universal monster movies. Obviously, you know, that's not public domain. You can't just play whatever you want. There's copyright violations that you could run into, or you would run into. Uh, you need a license to play that. I have attempted many times to obtain that license. If any of you have any advice for me on how to obtain that, I'd be very happy to hear it. But I, you know, I'd love to get those uh, a license, permission to play those those movies. Uh, for right now, we're playing the public domain movies, and I do play play the public domain movies. However, you know, and here's the rub on YouTube: if I'm posting a public domain movie. I've got so many of these that I'm just tired of fighting with it. Um, somebody will claim 37 seconds of the movie and say, well, I own this segment of a, of a public domain movie. I own 37 seconds of that movie. And YouTube, I, I guess, says, well, that sounds reasonable. So they'll put a strike out against me. And then I have to dispute that. And then when I do dispute it, they'll, you know, sometimes it works in my favor, sometimes it doesn't. So I, I just, maybe it depends on who's doing the dispute that day. I don't know. One was from a, a insurance company in England. You know, it said, I own 20 seconds of the, the uh, song that's playing on the radio on, on this, uh, you know, from, from the car scene. Okay, well, maybe, you know, I know, that, I know for a fact the film's public domain, but all right, maybe. You know, this, this was back in the early 60s, but, you know... Maybe. So I actually went to great lengths. I called the company, the, the supposed company in England. Nobody answers. It wasn't even a, a, you know, a way to leave a message. I don't even know if it, you know, they didn't mention the name of their company. It just rang. I tried several times. I emailed that company with this uh, supposed email. No, no, I didn't hear anything back from them. So um, another one most recently I had, uh, somebody, it was, a, it was a recent band, a recent band who said that they own the song. They made up this song, and they own the song from uh, a movie that, that came out in 1972. These kids, you could tell, weren't even born in the 70s, and they're making claim that they invented their, they, they came up with the song. So it's this type of thing that I'm constantly, constantly just smacking down and fighting against, and it's like, okay, so until I can arrange to have my own server and, and can comfortably um, just play these movies through the website or, or, or however it's done, I will not be posting the movies on YouTube. It's just a constant, constant fight with them. And, um, you know, <laughs> I really don't want to be wasting my time dealing with, with that kind of dispute all the time. So... That is why I've been taking my own programs off of YouTube. I've just been taking them down because I don't want the hassle that I've been getting. So, uh, And I've been seeing, even before that started with me, I saw where other horror hosts were having problems on YouTube with the very same thing. And I thought, wow, I'm glad I'm not. And then <laughs> it happens with me. 
So there you have it.